Right on the wildlife refuge takeover happening near Burns, we learned the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service asked some of its employees to leave the area while the standoff is going on. That's after a reporter for OPB saw militia members accessing computer files with employee information, including some of their home addresses. Also today, the group that's taken over the Malheur National Wildlife Refuge started cutting down fences. Our Cole Miller continues our coverage live from Burns. Well, good afternoon. For the most part, it's been a quiet day here at this part of the refuge where that group is hunkered down, but just about five miles east of here, Bundy and his men rolled out in a convoy to tear apart that fence. They say it'll help that rancher there stay afloat. As Ammon Bundy and his men put it, they're getting their hands dirty. You know, there's still a lot of concern and fear. He says last week a rancher on land near the Malheur National Wildlife Refuge near Burns came forward saying the Bureau of Land Management put in this fence sometime last year. They did not have authority to build this fence in the first place and so we are removing it. Bundy says if it stays that rancher could lose his livelihood. I'm told this is the first time they've gone out and done something like this. And we're just going to pull back a couple of sections of wire here. With that wire pulled back, this cat, complete with U.S. Fish and Wildlife decals, came in to pull out the posts. With this portion of fence now out of the way, I'm told it will be replaced with a gate. And come springtime, the rancher here will be able to open it and let his cattle graze. And those who tore it down, well, they're not apologizing. We've got more things to do, but uh, we're not going to just sit. And now he's open to run. They're also not worrying about what kind of charges they may face. Do you worry about legal action now having done this? Well, I think that uh, if they want to put legal action against me, don't you think after me being at that refuge there, having me in the first one on there, they could already have as long as list as they want? So if I'm, if I'm not worried then, why should I start worrying now? Nothing to lose? Uh, no, off the game. All the game. It's, it's not about losing, it's about gaining. It's about putting the federal government back into the confines of the law. And in a statement regarding what happened today, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service tells us this, quote, removing fences, damaging any refuge property or unauthorized use of equipment would be additional unlawful actions by the illegal occupiers. Any movement of cattle onto the refuge or other activities that are not specifically authorized by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service constitutes trespassing. And back out here live, we're told this action could undo decades of conservation. Live at the Malheur National Wildlife Refuge, Cole Miller, Coin 6 News. And Cole, we know there's some history here that the Bundy standoff in Nevada, nobody's still faced charges in that case. And here we are in Burns, so they have some history to look back at. Mm. Cole Miller, live in eastern Oregon. Thank you very much.